Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles, all by your ear, no music needed. Make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving away something that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So let's get it right now. That's that type of shit that make me swerve, 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 swerve. Yeah, that's that type of shit that make me swerve, 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 swerve. So I wanted to give you guys some more value. I feel like, you know, my covers lately, I mean, they've been fun, they've been great, whatever. But what we're gonna start to do now is do all these tutorials and I'm gonna teach you guys how to play all these songs by ear. So I think this will be really, really fun as opposed to me just printing out a bunch of sheet music for you guys. Um, by the way, if you want any sheets right now, I have like five of them out. So send me a DM or, or hit the link in the description. The song Watermelon Sugar, uh, I, I feel like I don't even have to play it. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard it before. If not, go check it out. But uh, basically, like, you know, it starts with that. Taste like strawberries on a summer evening. Do -do 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 -do. My thing is, whenever I do a cover, I always listen at the beginning. You know, listening is so important. I tell all my students this all the time. You have to listen. If you don't listen, you're not going to be able to learn a song. You have to sing back the melody. If, even if your voice isn't good, I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's weird. I know you're going to laugh at people who sing, whatever. You know, just sing. Singing is the best way to connect your ear to what you're doing on your horn. When you sing something back, what you're actually doing is you're replicating what you're hearing. If I hear like the Watermelon Sugar song, the first thing I'll do is sing it back. At the beginning, if this is your first time doing it, you're gonna have to listen to it a lot. But if you're more advanced, you won't have to listen to it as much. You know, you know how the song goes. So at that point, uh, you'll be able to figure it out. I know this song's huge on TikTok, so if you guys are scrolling on TikTok all the time, you've probably heard it already a hundred times. But sing it back, you know? Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening. And then try to play that. So listen for one note first. So listen to like the very first note. Taste. That's the, that's the first thing, taste like strawberries, right? So you listen to that first note, the ta, you sing that note back. Okay. Okay, that's an A. You, you're gonna know what key it's in just by that first note more or less, right? So when you hear, or that first chord, you like listen to like the first chord. Like the first step is to figure out what key the song's in. If you don't know what key the song's in, you're not gonna be able to play it by ear. You're not gonna be able to learn it by ear. So you have to figure out what key the song's in. The best way to do that would be to listen to the chords. If you're struggling with that and you can't figure it out, go search the song online and just say, look, this song in whatever key, right? And it'll tell you what, what, what key it's in. If you really need help finding out what key it's in, you can search it. It's either gonna be in a major key or a minor key. What you guys have to understand is that relative minors, the reason why they call them relative minors is because they're relative to the major. So A minor is a relative minor of the C major scale. Okay, and every single relative minor starts on the sixth degree of the major scale. So for example, if we're in the key of F, what would be the relative minor? It would be D minor, right? So if you're in the key of F, you go up to the sixth degree, which is D, the relative minor would be D minor, right? So it's the same thing, B flat, what's the sixth degree of B flat, right? What's the relative minor in the key of B flat? It would be G minor. So once you figure all that out, you realize that those relative keys, you, you play the same notes. So for example, in B flat, you play the same notes in a B flat major scale as you do in a G minor scale. The difference is, is where you start from. So in that G minor scale, you're gonna start on a G versus um, the B flat major scale, you're gonna start on a B flat, but they're all the same notes. Watermelon sugar is in A minor, but it, you could also say it's in C major. The real difference between minor and major is like the chords. Um, like an A minor chord is different from a C major chord. Versus. They're two totally different chords. However, the notes in the scale are exactly the same. Like I said, now we know it's an A minor. You know you're starting on an A. You listen to the song, Taste Like Strawberries. The way I kind of like articulate is really, really important. If I played the same cover like this, like it's not gonna sound nearly as good. Or if I play it like this, 
It's also not going to sound as good. It's a combination of, of you know, tonguing in the right places and putting the right inflection on the right notes. So making it sound more like this. I want to be real with you guys. Like, I think it's unrealistic to, to think that people are just going to be able to play like that overnight. Okay, like I want to explain to you guys something about me. Like I've been playing jazz for over like 10 years and I've also been playing trombone for over almost going on 12. So like I've been playing a long time um, and I've been playing jazz a long time and in jazz playing, what you're constantly doing is transcribing. You're constantly listening and playing back what you hear. You're doing dictation type of stuff. You're doing a lot of like um, call and response. Um, you're, you're improvising a lot. So all those things help with playing by ear and there's really no music ever needed so that one part that part going into the into the chorus where it goes Amy in that one part right there right all those notes, all those notes, it was only it was only five notes. So let's go back to the beginning. So the beginning part. And then now it's the chorus. The chorus part is pretty simple. Um, it's basically two notes until it goes to the what am I ha But like that for the most part it's just the what am I ha you know you know so it basically stays right there um just d to c once again all these notes are in the key of c and a minor play it the way that they're singing it he doesn't say taste like strawberry on a summer evening. Like, he doesn't sing it like that, right? He sings it like, taste less strawberries. I mean, don't mind my voice, but you know what I'm saying. Right? So that's what you got to do. Listen, play it back. Listen, play it back. Listen, play it back. These songs aren't that hard. There are a lot of people who can actually play by ear. They can hear things but their skill on the instrument isn't, or their, their technique on the instrument isn't at a point to where they can actually play those things back, which is a huge problem. Cause like you could, you could literally be able to do everything that I, that I said or whatever, but you can't hit certain notes because you can't play in the right octaves or you can't play, you don't know where the notes are. You can hear the notes, but you don't know where they are. You don't know what they're called, etc. And that could be kind of like hindering your, your uh, performance as well. So all these things are something to keep in mind. You got to make sure that you're really paying attention to, you know, the notes, uh, the rhythms, and making sure that you're practicing scales every day. Um, and if you don't know your scales, write out the names, you know, doing all those types of things. But look, I want to just also throw this out there too. If you want a P-bone like this, link in the description. I'm doing a crazy deal right now. If you want lessons where we're going into more depth of everything that I've just mentioned and more, um, and you can win one of these for free. You can literally win a free P-bone if you sign up for the program after your fifth lesson. Um, super affordable, super cheap. P-bone's partnering with the, with the program. So sign up today, guys. Like, don't wait. 
um, definitely take advantage of that opportunity. But uh, yeah, for anyone who wants lessons, let me know. Link in the description, DM me, send me an email. I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. If you're, if you're new to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. Let me know. Also comment if you wanna see any other types of videos and if you, if you need any sheets, if you need any advice, if you need any help, I'm always here to help. Team Cuss, let's make some noise. Hush. Yeah. Lately, yeah, just picking up days.